guys, Ben is up next. Okay, first off, uh, ignore my misspelled name. That was an afterthought at like midnight last night when I downloaded this. I'm Ben, not Bene. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, I intern at the Downtown Hayes Development Corporation with the Downtown Hayes Market. Uh, this is a lovely photo of our market, and I wanted to start by saying I, I'm a third year intern, and the first year I applied for this, I didn't even apply for this position. I applied for a different one with a different executive director, and my application didn't go through, and so I emailed her, and I was like, hey, do you have an update? And she's like, oh, I never got your application. Just come in for an interview. And when I got to the interview, I realized I was interviewing for this position, not the other one, and I was like, ooh, I'm not going to like this. And now I'm back for my third year, so <laughs> just keep that in mind. Uh, so. My job is I'm the market manager, and this year I actually got to help out with some other stuff outside of the market as well, uh, with like helping in the office and other things of workload for other events, uh, such as the Brews on the Bricks event, which was our biggest event that we host. Uh, it's a lot of work, I found out. Um, but it was a lot of fun to get a go, being in the environment. Like, for example, this photo here, this wonderful lady from Salina, uh, my wonderful boss, Julie, over here, she's like, can you try and get photos of people like holding their glasses up? I was like, oh yeah, for sure, and I walked by and she was doing that. I was like, oh my goodness, can I take a photo? She's like, yeah, of course, and I was looking back on it and she has water in her glass, so I was like, okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, but the main thing I do is manage the market operations, the social media posts, the schedules for it. Um, I run all of the vendor relations, uh, so I'm gonna tell a little bit later. So social media pages, uh, we have Facebook and Instagram, uh, both very active. Wow. And I do the post for them every week. So on Saturdays, early, very early in the morning at the markets, I'm the one behind all of the posts. Uh, I choose the theme. Uh, for example, like our theme last week for Olympic opening ceremony was Game On. And I would say stuff like, it might be like 3 o'clock in Paris, but it's 7.30 here and we're open. Uh, I also get to check vendors into their spots. I do the map each week, which is right there, which you guys are probably some of the first people to see this. This isn't really posted to the public, but that's where everybody's at under our beautiful pavilion, and I go through and I mark who's gonna be there, who's not, where everyone else can go, things like that. And then people who don't have a spot, I check them into their spot on Saturday mornings. And I also sell the SNAP, which is Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. It's like food stamps that people use. And we're lucky we're part of a double up program where you get more money to shop at our market if you're lower income. And so I sell the fun little tokens that are down there each Saturday morning. Uh, some big achievements. Uh, we are voted number one market in Kansas last year, and as of today, hopefully, uh, voting closed yesterday, and we're way ahead of the competition. We're number one again in the state. So two years running, that's a lot of fun. Uh, we get $100 from the Farmers Market Coalition for that, so it also helps the market as well. Uh, we were also voted Best of Hayes for a community event last year. We got a wonderful looking trophy. I thought it looked pretty cool, so I put it on here. We beat things like the Art Walks, the Wild West Festival, big events like that, so that was a lot of fun. And then we reached 4.5 thousand followers on Facebook. We were about at 5,000, I think, when I started again this year, and I was like, I wanna get even more. So that was a lot of fun as well. Um, part of my internship, I was really excited to go to Leadership Day in Phillipsburg again. I went last year in Lincoln, it was a lot of fun, so I was really excited to go again this year, and it did not disappoint. Um, I love seeing the different places, like I, my favorite part is the coffee shop, because we have a fun coffee shop like that in Hayes as well, so it was fun to compare. Also to meet different interns, hear what you guys do, that was a lot of fun too. Um, so big takeaways, um, I still have learned that I'm not a morning person. I wake up about 5.40 each morning on Saturdays to go uh, get things ready for the market and some vendors probably think I'm pretty grouchy in the morning because it's 6.15 and I'm not fully there yet because I do not like getting up early in the morning. Um, I learned that Wagyu beef, it's because of the marbling and the fat in it. I didn't know that before. I thought it was just fancy cow meat, but I found out there's actually a reason for it. Um, a big thing has been learning that our uh, Double Up Food Buck program, it comes from the Department of Agriculture, and our program, it's all across the country, but our program is also with the state of Missouri. I didn't know that because the program's expiring this year, and so I've had a lot of new information on that come in. Um, and with that too, I've got to advocate for the program. I added some stuff over there, uh, which call to action here. If you guys care about fighting food insecurity, which is a little bit of an issue out here, write to Senator Marshall, Senator Moran, and uh, Tracy Mann and tell them to extend the program again. We have people who get um, use the Double Up program. There's a lady who's been a retired special education teacher and had open heart surgery. We have a lady who's a single mom of five kids. They come almost every week and use the program to help put healthy food on their tables. So it's very important. Um, for conclusion, I had some fun photos like 
This was after an art walk from the Hayes Arts Council. Uh, they put chalk out our art, CVB does. And we got there Saturday morning, and the whole like park where the pavilion's at was just chalked up, looking amazing. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, not just food, but you've probably seen, we have some other fun stuff. Like here's some stickers that someone uh, makes. She draws them herself, prints them, they all look great, so took a photo of that. Um, the middle picture is just a picture of an everyday at the market. You might see Chantel in there somewhere. Uh, if you look close enough, I actually don't know for sure, but she comes a lot, and so it's fun to see her there. Um, that was a nice, big, bright picture of the market that I like to include in everything. It's on everything if you look at our stuff. Um, I also do, too, at the market, I set up my fun little table, and it used to be, the connections I've got from this, it used to be that I did a lot of accounting papers while sitting there last year, especially in the fall, but now there's no way that could happen because there's so many people that come back each week that I know I'm always chatting with someone or I'm up taking photos of all the amazing stuff, like this bottom photo, which I always think is super amazing. I don't know if any of the Bethesda Place interns are here today, but they bring a table down and they sell fresh produce, and their table's always full of a whole bunch of just green stuff. I don't even know what it is sometimes, but it's always full and they have a fun little basket. So there's always something fun under the pavilion, 7.30 to 11 each morning. And if you ever go and think you like it, I'm the one pretty much kind of behind it. So thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you.